My guy JB Smooth used the perfect gift. It was Undertaker coming back to describe this Trace McSorley situation. YouTube team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And in this video, okay, this um not news that I was expecting at all. And I, I just, again, when Trace he played in that first preseason game, and then after, they started talking about, oh, yeah, he was picking up a box at the crib, and then his back got messed up, and then he played in the game, and so that messed up his back even more. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, man, that he was picking up a box that had a little stash in it, huh? Injury, IR stash, not not that stash that y'all. Anyway, um, so Trace is is on his way. He's on his way, and this um not now this does not make me think that he is going to be QB two because he's not. That's Tyler Huntley. That's his job. He is the QB two. It's even on the back of his jersey, and he ain't changing numbers. So yeah, Tyler, your job is safe as QB two, but this this changes everything, and. Obviously, they um he's not playing in the preseason. They already said he's not playing in the preseason, so they're not gonna go back on that. They're not gonna they're not gonna change that. But this almost makes you wonder uh, if the Ravens will keep three quarterbacks uh, on the roster this year, um, like last year. It is a big possibility. Um, they and they could obviously still do the whole. Uh, practice squad thing they could waive one of their quarterbacks uh, and allow him to clear waivers and then put him on the practice squad uh, in his return but Harbaugh more specific he, and he was very specific about Trace because you know Harbaugh when it comes to injuries he ain't he don't give out specifics he doesn't give out specifics when it comes to a timeline he doesn't give out specifics about the injury itself he doesn't give out specifics about the surgery he doesn't give out specifics about the recovery he does not give specifics about anything when it comes to injuries again with the whole Brashad Perryman thing ever since then he's pretty much learned his lesson to keep keep his mouth closed when it comes to injuries but anyway he said uh that Trace McSorley is doing well Said that he's starting to throw. So, hey, he's a quarterback. That's his job, throw that football. So if he's starting to throw, then, yeah, he's getting back into a groove, getting back into a rhythm. But that wasn't even the craziest part. That was a really crazy part. And, again, when I first saw that, I was like, oh, okay. So Trace, man, he may, may be making his big return. Um, but he said he probably would be ready to some degree early in the season. So that, okay, that's usually hardball talk. If you say early in the season, He'll say these things that are kind of murky, but they, they won't give you that level of detail that you would want. And you'd be like, okay, cool, Harbaugh. Uh, yeah, it is what it is. Early in the season, that could mean anything. That could mean early in the season could mean the first quarter of the season. So that could be one of the first four games. That could be uh, before week eight, depending on your interpretation. But, <coughs> excuse me, he said uh, the first week even possibly, uh, or possibly the second week. That's what it's looking like right now. So John Harbaugh gave us some specifics with Trace McSorley. And the last sort of specific that he gave us with a, because Ravens haven't had any major injury, but well, besides LJ4, but Ravens, as far as their biggest injuries where players have the possi possibility of returning, the only other specific that he's given us with, has been with Rashad Bateman. And he said <laughs> September. He said September. Now, initially, when he said September, I was like, mm, uh, I don't believe you. Uh, and initially, when he said September, a lot of Team Keep It Clean was like, uh, uh, I don't believe you either. Um, <laughs> and it was nothing against Harbaugh, but it was more so with the injury that it was and with the surgery that he had um, and the expected timetable for recovery. But then when you see Rashad Bateman's Instagram, when you saw it, whether it be the Rashad Bateman or the Yes Way, why he has two Instagrams, I have no clue. Because uh, obviously Ravens know about both of them. They post about both of them. So I, I don't know. I don't know why he has two. But anyway, um, when you see on Instagram and he's running and he's dancing too, I'm like, hold up. 
is was Harbaugh right? Is is September actually looking like it's gonna go down? Because I I don't know. So we just gotta wait and see. Same way with Trace McSorley, we just gotta wait and see. So we have to be very patient uh, when it comes to these injuries. Now, somebody else who's been dealing with some mysterious injury, I heard it was with an ankle. I, I don't know exactly what it is. Has been Sammy Watkins. And Sammy Watkins, he was practicing. He was turning heads early. He even practiced early at the um when they went to go uh, with the Panthers. Um, he was he got he had some little nice little highlight. Well, I forgot exactly what the route was, but he found himself wide open and made the catch. Sammy Watkins been having a good training camp, good off season with the Ravens, but for a little while he's been out. We've been wondering, like, man, what's up with Sammy Watkins? What happened with Sammy Watkins? But they said that uh, he's okay. Harbaugh said that he's okay. Uh, it's not a serious injury. <laughs> we heard that before. Uh, but we're just trying to rest some things that he's dealing with that are normal camp things. We felt like it wasn't really worth it at this point. It'd be better to get him 100%. So he wants Sammy. He doesn't just want Sammy to be back. He wants Sammy to be all the way back to where there are no setbacks. Um, and Sammy will be full, ready, good to go. Uh, so when it's time to fly out to Vegas, Ravens don't y'all don't need to be at no casinos, man. Don't be at no casinos. I mean, I, they probably might not even be allowed to be. I don't know what the the rules and regulations are, but don't, you don't you don't need to go to no casino. Don't go gambling. It, it, it ain't no point. Just go do your thing. Go get something to eat. Go to some nice little restaurants and stuff. Then do your thing. Go take care of them Raiders. But anyway, that we'll get get to that when we get there. Um, they want him ready to go. For Monday Night Football. And with them getting ready. Again, this is the last preseason game. Uh, if they've been resting him throughout all this training camp. I wouldn't expect him to play in this last preseason game. Um, but we'll see. I don't expect him to at all. Uh, but with that being said. Uh, he should be he should be good to go for regular season. It sounds like. Because it sounds like they're just being extra, extra, extra careful. Uh, with Sammy Watkins. With their prized offseason wide receiver. That one one year deal for worth up to six million dollars, five mil, five mil guarantee now, and hopefully whatever the incentives are for Sammy to get that extra one mil, hopefully he reaches them, hopefully he exceeds them. So we'll see how that goes. Now another receiver who uh, has been out for a while, and I haven't heard anything about his injury. It 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 is probably one of the biggest mysteries. Well, it was one of the biggest mysteries on his team because we had heard about him making some plays throughout training camp, and he was. Um, and even when we went to that the open practice that they had, he was making some plays there and whatnot. But um, Deion Kane, Deion Kane, he has been out for a while with something. Don't know what it was, but he returned to day two. Now, um, is it too little, too late? I don't know. I don't know. Um, my my guy JT, uh, we talked earlier. He talked about health is wealth. Devin DuVernay and uh, Tylen Wallace, he called them the training camp warriors. Reason being because they've been the only receivers to make it. And again, we still got tomorrow. Um, but yeah, that'll be it. But they've been the only guys to make it from start to finish. From start to finish. And so kudos to both of those guys for going through the journey. And two young guys. It's like a rookie and a half. Reason I say a half because Devin Duvernay, while well, he's not technically a rookie, this is this is like his rookie offseason. Like, oh man, this is what the offseason is like with the Ravens. Oh, this is crazy. This is cool. I like it. And he's lasted the entire time. So shout out to those fellas. And shout out to the other receivers too. Uh, whenever they do come back, hopefully sooner rather than later. With Hollywood, again, it seemed like it's going to be any day now. Now, one thing that did concern me a, a bit yesterday. Um, I don't, yeah, he didn't practice today, but one thing that concerned me yesterday was that they said that, uh, Hollywood, he was off to the side running and stuff. And I think they said Deion Kane was as well. And in previous days before yesterday, they had said that Miles Boykin had been doing the same thing, but they said yesterday he wasn't. And I was thinking, oh boy, it's just it, every day that passes where Boykin doesn't return 
it just seems it's it's a, it's a scary thought. I just put it like that. It's a scary thought just thinking of the possibilities. Um, but hey, they got the walk through tomorrow. They got the game on Saturday, and then that's when everything starts. After the game on Saturday, uh, probably starting on even Sunday. Sunday, Monday, by Tuesday, they got to get to 53 men. And I don't anticipate them making all the moves to go from 80 to 53 men uh, in one day. Um, so I think they'll gradually do it, start on Sunday, continue on Monday, finish up on Tuesday. So I, I think they're going to spread it out. Um, but then we'll start to have a lot of these questions that we have uh, answered. So anyway, team, keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. Uh, I love y'all. Um, and yeah, man, let's have a great rest of the week. Uh, thank you for watching as always. Shout out to all the new uh, Team Keep It Clean patrons. Appreciate y'all. Uh, if you want to become a patron, you go to patreon.com slash engravenviz. If, and if you don't want to, like I always say, just stay right where you at. Uh, I love y'all either way. I appreciate y'all. Thank you for supporting uh, the channel and supporting uh, everything that we do. I love y'all. And we are out.